Right, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do some real easy basic um, text animation. So let's get started. Uh, I've got the timeline panel open. You can open that via window um, animation or timeline rather. It's changed. Um, this is CS6 I'm using. You'll probably be able to tell from the interface. And we're going to animate this text, so I'm going to get the move tool, I'm going to click on this here, create video timeline, and it's opened this up, there's our layer on the layer panel, and there's our layer in the timeline, I'm going to scroll down this little squirrely, and you can see we can transform, change the opacity to style, and play with text warp. Um, we can also add audio, by coming to this little flyer and adding audio, we're not going to do that for this um, tutorial. Um, if we was working with an object we would have position instead of transform and we wouldn't have text warp and was work if we was working with 3D we'd obviously um, or maybe not obviously have some more options but let's just work with what we've got first of all I'm going to set a keyframe for the transform the opacity the style and text warp so we'll go through all of these real quick I'm going to bring the work area down to about one second this blue thing here with a red line going through it's a CTI current time indicator and work area and it's a bit different on CS6 to previous versions um, <coughs> but we'll just leave it like that let's get started um, I'm going to go to about half, half second 15 frames I'm working at about 30 frames per second. Yeah, 30 frames per second. You can change that to any of these or you can enter it manually. And I'm going to move my name down. And also, while it's there, I'm going to press Control T and rotate it. That way it will record the position and the fact that I've rotated it and if I resized it probably that as well. I'll go to the one second, I'll move it down, press control T. Bring it down like so. So now if I play through it backwards and forwards you can see it moves and it just rotates a little bit. I'm also going to change the opacity, so at halfway, I'm going to set the opacity to 50%. I'm also going to change the colour, so I'll add it, and I'll do that in a bit. And I'll also open up text warp, so text warp, so to get to text warp, you've got to be on the text tool. It's this little tab here, open it, set it to maybe arc, and bring the bend down. and then go to the one second I'm going to set my opacity back up to 100 and change the text warp back to none so now it moves it rotates and it bends it warps and we're going to do the style as well so at the beginning when it's in the, on that first keyframe we're going to set a color overlay and leave it red and it will record that we'll come to half a second we'll open back up the layer style box and that's really what the style um, option is for go on color overlay we'll change this to a purple and then we'll come to one second and we'll change it to probably blue So now we've animated all four of them properties. And what we're doing is we're animating over time. So um, the keyframe, keyframes records um, the properties of an object. In this case, the warp, the style, the opacity, and the transform slash position um, of this object, which is a t piece of text um, and if it was a just a square box or a square shape then 
you wouldn't have to transform, you'd have to position, you wouldn't have to text warp because it ain't text. And then every change you want to make to to that object, be it text or not, as your um, you need to record it with a keyframe. Now, once you've set down your first keyframes, if the property can be recorded, it will automatically record it. So the more you practice it, the more it will sort of become clear to you. Um, let's just quickly turn off that layer, and I'll just make a little square, fill it with pink. Oh. Try again, create a new layer, fill it with pink, and I'll just animate this quickly. Let's just undo that. But this opened up here because that's where my CTI was, so we just can bring it back to the beginning. Simple like that. Bring the CTI to the beginning. Use the squarely to open it. And a keyframe position there, and a keyframe there, which will be automatically recorded. Let's set the motion to rotate and zoom. And if we bring this in like so, we can see it rotating. It's probably better to bring that closer. So now you can see there's a slight rotation to that. So that's what I'm showing you is how to um, just add a animation quite um, automatically by just choosing one of these options. Anyway, you play with that. Um, some other things, all your options are in this flyout. So have a look at them. You can render the video from this flyer, which is good. This is to zoom in on this panel on your timeline. And just to note that this is timeline animation, you can do frame animation, which we'll cover in another tutorial. Uh, for now, that's it. Uh, thanks for sticking with it. And, and do come and check us out at photoshopbus.co.uk. Until next time, I'll see you later.